Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again on a hell of a high win streak. I'm gonna keep mentioning that. I say hell of a high win streak. BD1P is on like crazy high 200 and whatever and just literally here on 16th for me. That's a real achievement. Anyways, we're gonna keep going and we're playing as, as this fella. This fella starts with just the worst HP imaginable, um, which scares me deeply. So I'm gonna try and not get hit here. Um, honestly, this is a really, really bad first room to be trying to not get hit because this guy produces a thousand spiders that never stop coming. <laughs> oh my god. But if we remember how this character works, we're going to be getting doubled items. Uh, but at the end of each floor, we lose a portion of the items we picked up, meaning that we have to use our Deus Custodia to gain an item permanently and also gaining a broken heart. Or we need to deal with the consequences of the fact that we might lose our item from time to time. This is a room that speaks pain yep 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 that was uh totally called for if we die and lose our streak to this i'm gonna be really mad because i already don't like dumpies en enough as it is that was close and now i really don't like them anyways uh two items that i quite literally do not care about keeping here unfortunately um and a key that i do want Oh god, that's a bit depressing. Uh, health, yeah, health is in a real bad spot now. We could we could die in a single hit to anything, and we just got a room with an enemy that I despise, and I mean despise. This is an enemy that I really, really, really hate, and it hits me often. So let's just see how it goes. Okay, this wasn't so bad. It luckily didn't do the thing where it decides to throw spiders at you from a million angles, but we are still one hit from death, and it's essentially. I'm not going to say it's guaranteed, but it's essentially going to be pretty tough for us to get some HP here before we fight our boss, which just leaves me in a bit of a sore spot, I'll be honest. Big Chub is pretty good, uh, but unless we get some HP, like, in these next few rooms, I reckon we could die to any one of these rooms. This, this guy especially hits me quite often. <laughs> this enemy is one that I find particularly difficult. I'm going to try and hit him with that. There you go. Stop giving me keys. <laughs> yeah, this is not what I wanted. This is another enemy that can be a bit painful. Uh, I'm hoping my flies deal with him mainly. There you go. Okay, so unfortunately, we are at the whim of whatever boss we get given here. Uh, not a terribly difficult boss, but I wouldn't say an easy one either. This guy has that small chance to just throw a firebomb directly at your face. Um... <laughs> Ooh, that's a 16 win streak down the drain in an instant. Fun. For one, let's just let let's just let's just go over the facts here. We just lost a 16 win streak to exactly the the method that I predicted from a boss that is fairly BS in in the way that it hit us. But two, the f why the fuck does this character start with such low HP? What's all that about? I'm very upset. <laughs> very upset. Why couldn't we have gotten this start? Why couldn't we have gotten this start? The hell's all this about? Yeah. Not not too happy about all this. That's a big win streak to lose to um, what I would consider heckin' Belschnickel. But life goes on. Ooh, look, an eternal heart. This would have been great five seconds ago, you evil witch of a game. Anyhow, let's not dwell on the past. Also, we have a really interesting setup right now. We can get in there with our extra laser by just, like, rubbing up against enemies. Also, we can make our blue flies invincible, which is also very, very useful. As you can see. <laughs> the fact that this can make blue flies invincible is so strong. There you go, look. Blue flies, take care. One rotten heart and you can clear every single room in the game. Would have loved to have had this on our last, uh, our last run there, but... You know how it goes. You know how it goes. 
It just so happened that we have to start as a character that unfortunately is really terrible. Does does spin to win not give you contact immunity? I really thought that it did. Maybe it doesn't? I thought it did. Hmm. I don't know. I can't I can't tell now. Uh, oh, we've got some good stuff here. I'll take both, and we'll lose what we lose here. I don't really mind. At the minute, I'm just in the mindset of being big sad. Do you know, it's 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 funny how, how my streak ended. What's it going to take from us? Okay, that's fine. Um, it's funny how our streak ended in the way that it did. Because I was going to... Oh, we lost a spin to win as well, damn. Um, I was going to open up the episode by talking about the fact that I've been really down today. Um, <laughs> and it seems kind of fitting that... Uh, it seems kind of fitting that we lost our streak today, doesn't it? My lord. It really does seem fitting. But yeah, um... I was going to say, I, I, I've, I've realised I start a lot of my episodes with, hey, I'm having a great day today, and then today I just, I'm just not. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I decide to record, because I just need something to sort of, I don't know, take my mind off things. I've, nothing even particularly has happened. Do you not just get it, like, you just get a day every now and again where you just wake up and you're just down, and you don't know why, and it's not logical. You just feel that way. And that's, that's, for some reason, that's today for me. I'm not sure why, but it is. Um, we'll grab that and hold on to that. I guess we'll uh, crack these and give myself that back. Don't really care about keeping any of these in particular, so I'm not going to Deus Custodia here. Um, but yeah, like that kind of leads me on to today's sort of question of the day. Maybe a, a slightly more personal one, so don't, don't, uh, don't worry if you don't feel like answering it. But just kind of based on how I've been feeling today, what's what's your guys' is like what's your coping mechanism? What's what's the thing that you do that, that always makes you feel better when you're feeling down or you just had had a bad day or you're stressed? Like there's quite a lot of different ones for me. I've, I've told you guys before about how the how I like binge TV shows a lot. That's always that's always a good way. Finding a good game to settle down and play is always a fun one. But for me, I'm I'm a reasonably social person. Even though I'd, I'd class myself as more of an introvert, I'm a decently social person. Um, and I so, so like playing playing like I play uh, Call of Duty Warzone a good amount. So playing that with a friend is always like a good way. Despite the game being stressful as shit and always always leaving me in a bad mood because it's it's terrible and I don't like it. <laughs> as anyone that plays the game will probably tell you, uh, it, it's it's always a good way to cheer me up a little bit. Um, again, two items I don't really care about keeping, so I'll just, uh, I'll just go for. And we'll see what's what. Right. Back through to our boss. GB bugs kind of whatever as well. If that disappears, no one's going to care. Of course, we're going to get some Cuba meats here, which are, uh, basically I'm hoping I'll end up being just fodder for, um, for item removal. Because I'm not, I'm not really going to care about using my Cuban meat at all. I mean, if I'd have had spin to win, I'd have been way more interested. But that has since been gone. Since you've been gone, yeah, yeah. We can actually get in there with our laser here. Or we can just touch him. Ooh, actually, we managed to get our self-starvation here. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I'll check the devil deal because my health's pretty good right now. Do you know what? Um... I think Sanguine and a Deus Cassidia on the Sanguine is real good. No Tinted Rocks, unfortunately, here. Yeah, I, I really do like um, Sanguine Bond. I think Sanguine Bond is actually a very, very good item now. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say, I just... I Today, I went like the, the full the full nine yards. Like, I'm, I'm a person that very rarely gets affected by like depression, anxiety, things like that. Um, but today I went like the full nine yards and, and went like whole hog on it and I like bundled myself up in quilts and like settled in. I bought some cookies to eat even though I know I should be dieting just to make myself feel better. <laughs> and it was just like I, I like I ended up coming I got my PC in the morning and even though I had I have, I have a bunch of games that I want to play right now. Like I'm midway through like Dying Light 2 and a few other things like that and I'm really enjoying them. I just sat there and just couldn't bring myself to actually play anything. I was just like, I don't know what to do here at all. So yeah, I just resorted to going and laying on the sofa 
on my own. Because <laughs> my girlfriend's still at work, so I'm just in on my own. It's just like, it was nice, but also, do you know, under the context, not very nice. <laughs> I was enjoying myself, but ultimately I knew that it was under bad pretenses um, and I should actually just try and do something to make myself feel better, which leads me to why I'm recording right now. I was like, hey, if I force myself to do an activity that I don't really feel up to, maybe it'll make me feel better. And it is definitely doing so, although I will say the heartbreak of losing my streak early, not what I needed. Not what I needed at this early hour. I say early hour, it's 4 p.m. Uh, <laughs> but it's just like, for God's sake, you had to end my streak today, did you? You had to give me a character that has really low starting HP and then end me. I'm, I'm, as much as it's kind of cheaty and I probably shouldn't, I do kind of want to go into the, uh, into the mod files of Job and just give him like one extra red heart because I feel like the starting health in this character is, is real mean. I get that it's basically just the same as, um, as Judas's. In fact, it's a little better than Judas's because you have Spirit Heart Protection and a Rotten Heart. But it's still mean. I still don't like it. Right. Hope some good items coming our way though. We're getting some rough rooms though as well here. Like this, this room here is probably one of the worst rooms you can find on this floor. Just an army of these guys coming at you is, is horrible. I want to get rid of the champion boy, but he is not dying. I was trying to get some collateral damage there. I was trying. But yeah, I got myself some some triple chocolate Belgian cookies. Ooh, it's what I... It, it, like, it was just what I needed. It did hit the spot. It's one of those things, though. It's like, I woke up. I felt reasonably fine in the morning. Like, when, as soon as I got up. But as the day went on, I just kind of... Eh. Uh, we got trash bag here. Unfortunately, I don't think we can actually get either of these. Which is a bit depressing. Um, spawn either spiders or flies. 25% chance to spawn extra spiders. 25% chance to spawn extra flies. Oh, damn. That sounds kind of interesting. And then we got the turn the room to gold thing. Now, something I just want to check here. If I... If, if I... Do as custodian that. Okay, cool. I was just thinking, is this a way for me to steal the item from over the gap? It very much is. Obviously, it costs us a black heart and it costs us my active item too. But I don't think I really need my active and this seems interesting. It seems like a guppy's head with, with a chance to be even better. Which interests me. Interests me greatly. Right, let's keep moving on there. Try and find our item room. Obviously, the doubled items is going to help with our item room. It's going to be a little bit better. Hopefully, bring me some joy. I, I sound really depressed. I'm not meant to be sounding really depressed. It's just one of those days. That's all I'm saying. It's just one of those days. Everyone has them. There's no shame in it. I just shouldn't be dwelling is all. Ah! Hot diggity damn. I shouldn't really be recording when I feel like when I feel this way. It's not really the right idea. But like I've said many times before, re recording does actually uh, cheer me up quite a lot because I just I get to play a game I enjoy. I get to vent my frustrations either through talking about them specifically or, or ranting about other stuff. <laughs> Let's not die in this room. So it's just a, it's just a good way to let it all out. I will angry, angrily take these pills as well. Was not worth. Okay, here we are. No, thank you. How'd you both hit me? Go away. Go away. Best. Okay, well, we're getting some pretty trashy items right now, I gotta say. Some items that I'm just not a fan of at all. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we actually get some good items coming our way soon. Check this out. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually grab that. Let's check out our shop, though. We've got potentially enough to buy an item. It's a reroll machine anyway, so it doesn't matter. I will buy the scratch card and hope for the best. I was wronged. I was deeply wronged. Right. Boss time. This this run still... It still needs a bit to really... To really let it fly off the handles and, and get going. But it's got some intrigue to it. I think 120 volt plus... Uh, 
Plus the metal plate thing that's doing the, the, the iron bar that's zapping around us. It's kind of an interesting combination here. I'm trying to utilize both as much as I can, but the vast explosions are making it slightly more, slightly more risky. And by vast, I do mean vast. This guy's covering the screen. But once you get in range, it does a lot of damage. We do get a cube of meat here, but we also get the rotten pork chop. Yeah, we're getting, we're, we're, we really are getting some true fodder items here that just don't matter to us at all. Uh, so we're hoping that those are the ones that get stolen, but we'll see. Uh, GB bug is gone. Cuba meat is gone. There you go. That, like I said, some fodder items. Ow. This is a hard room. That is indeed a hard room. It did say that our trash bag could have could have the chance to give an exam. People that make rooms like these, what are you doing? <laughs> Angers me deeply. Ooh, isn't isn't this meteorite like real good? It is. Hell yes. We drop meteorites everywhere. Beautiful. Oh god. Um. Well, I think we definitely want the halo. Isaac's heart. I really don't think is is this run. So let's roll that bad boy. Toxic shock is a Deus Casodia item if I've ever seen one. Hell yes, I'm going to keep that. I love Deus Custodia. Uh, Deus Custodia, not Deus Custodia. Um, Toxic Shock. Let's just go charge her up. We would have more charges if those little little fella hadn't stole my charges. Whoa! That rock fell right on those fools. I'm loving this as a trinket. It seems very strong as a trinket because it can destroy rocks and stuff. And it seems... Yeah, like it can blow up secret rooms and stuff. Like... It can, yeah, it can still work when there's no enemies in the room, too, which is kind of overpowered. Because, like, I can just try and get it to blow up this keeper, dude, here. I mean, it might take a little bit of time, but... Eventually, it's gonna work. And now we have free bombs for the rest of the entire run. Like, it's it's finicky. Albeit, it's, it's slightly annoying to get work in the way that you want it to. Get it to work in the way you want it to. But, I still think that's pretty overpowered for a trinket. Right, Deus Cassidy is almost ready. One last room. I mean, not to mention just the amount of damage it's able to do to enemies. Right, make our way back. Yeah, Toxic Shock is just a outright fantastic item that should always be taken. Gimme, gimme. That can no longer be stolen from us, and I'm very happy about that, because that item... It can carry. It can carry really hard. Makes uh, makes weak enemies and rooms just completely uh, easy. Leaves all the creep behind. The, the fact that it leaves creep behind as well means like multi-stage enemies like these dudes. Because it's going to kill the leeches quickly. Come on fella, pop your head up. How did that not kill you? I said, ah, Dorman Mick got me, bloody hell. I wonder if it can blow up my donation machine. I'm kind of curious now. It can. <laughs> I had to check. I want Dreamcatcher for the half soul heart, but also as a, just as another fodder item. Potential to get removed that I don't care about being removed. I do wonder if we will end up getting an item from this at some point. We should check out this as well. Double items here. Why not? Again, more items the merrier. I realise that obviously that means more will get removed from us this floor. The more we have, the less chance there is of it removing the ones that we don't want it to remove sort of thing. I, I think. I think that works out about right. Gotcha. Look at this huge meat is coming down. It's crazy. We definitely need a damage up. Damage is, is, is leaving a little bit to be desired, I think. More than a little bit, should I say. Hey, I managed to get him to swallow a bomb. Very rare that I managed to do that, but it's very strong when you do, because it stuns him for a very long time. There you go. 
yeah, rooms like this can do very, very well from our Toxic Shock there. Keep popping our bag when it's ready. A little bit of lag on this room here for some reason. Not quite sure why this room in particular is having such a hard time, but goddamn meteors are ravaging this entire room, so no need to worry about anything there. It's kind of crazy how good it is. Right, pop in here. The Fallen, obviously getting us a Devil Deal item is going to be nice here. Okay, oop, that was very stupid of me, but there you go. Uh, medical Bill, unfortunately, is pretty terrible. Um, at least this is not. Marbles can be pretty good. Uh, I think we take that. Actually, no, unfortunately, we take none of these because I need this. Um, well, this is something. Uh, so we have Sanguine Bond. Right, this is kind of this is kind of tricky because we have Sanguine Bond, but we also have these chests. What's with all the red poops? I don't like the red poops. <laughs> Not a fan. Okay, we got an item from this one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of all these red poops. We got a spin down shard, that's good. Go away, red poops. You're in the way. Judgment. You're just in the way. Another spin down shard. Could not mean to pick up that eternal heart. That's going to be gone, vamooshed. Okay, so that's over. Right, now let's play this a little bit and see if we get some damage ups. I don't care about wrecking my HP a little bit here. Just wish I, didn't, I wasn't just absolutely covered in red poops right now. Okay, there's some damage. I'm going to go a little hard here. Okay, that's hard enough. Right. Pill. Pill. Right, spin down shard. We'll take that. We'll be on our way. We'll spin down that into experience bar. Very happy about that. Uh, we did manage to gulp our trinket during all of that, so that's good. And we will get out of here. I can I can take b bigger risks on this run now because I don't have a streak to uphold. I'm on a zero streak right now. But yeah, XP bar's good here. Let's see if we can keep it. 120 volt. Okay, we didn't lose anything terrible there. Pretty happy with everything that went on there. Hello, little lychee. We did lose some HP, I think. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful destruction. Some good stuff there. I think I'll just take them both, though. I don't think I need to really mess around with that. I've got negative luck right now as well, which is a shame. Wait, was there a Dominic in here? That there was. That there was. We could smell... <sighs> nah, unfortunately not. Not what we need right now. Ooh, Tinted Rock there that gave us a single bomb, unfortunately. Better than nothing, I guess. We're getting a lot of battery charges right now because we've got the battery watch in our pocket. We have an Emperor card, which we can do something with, I guess. Ow. Okay, good. 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 Car battery. I need it. I need it. It's my favorite thing in the universe. I will do this just for the chance at money. Didn't get it, but it was worth the effort. I want my car battery. It's going to make this active a lot better as well, actually. Come on. I can deal with your hands. 
I just need money. Ooh, counterfeit, counterfeit penny is a, is a start. Counterfeit penny's a start. Fool's gold rock. Oh, we've almost got a winner when a chicken dinner going on. Unfortunately, this room does have money in it, but we cannot reach it. Speed down. Considering we're at two speed, I don't think that really affects us too badly. I spawn an enemy while you're doing your thing. A penny? Oh, I didn't counterfeit though. Damn it. Try and get things spawned wherever we can. The little helpers from the uh, the chart can be pretty useful. You're dead. I think we should try and get another helper here. Hazar. It's giving us a lot of leeches, which I have to admit isn't the most reliable source of damage from a familiar enemy, but... You do you, I guess. There we go. We got enough. Right, so now we can go back. And I think we probably do want to do as Custodia um, car battery. Just so both our active and car battery can't be taken away from us. I think that puts us in a reasonably good spot. We got to buy it, then immediately use this. There you go. Like that. And that's going to give us stat ups from our keeper's sack as well, which is nice. Okay, so now our active should be kind of on crack. It should be really, really good. You see... Because we should be able to spawn spiders and flies and consumables and have rare potential for items too. All in one go. Oh my lord, I'm getting hit a lot. You had to spawn, didn't you, you little host bastard? Can you guys leave me alone while I just use this a sec? Oh, okay, maybe not. Right. The sister viz. Oh, we got a hanging keeper this time around. Not so good, I, I've got to admit, but there you go. And you are dead. Oh my god. That one just got hit by a massive meteorite right on the head. Ooh, some good items here as well. And we are good to go. I'll keep my Emperor card. Do, do you know what? I think the Emperor card is going to be good for just skipping over the womb. Which is a sentence that outside of Isaac could be very strange. Uh, we lost our uh, chalk. We lost creatine. Damn. Creatine powder was giving us a lot of damage. I mean, luckily, we didn't need the damage. But the damage does affect, like, toxic shock and stuff. So it would have been nice to keep it. Joker card there is of some importance. Um... I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Need a fire rate boost as well as another thing we don't really have. Super bandage is whatever. Old relic? Isn't this the one that just makes us stomp from time to time when we're shooting? Hmm? Yeah, okay, it does. Cool. And it fills in gaps, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, pretty useful. Reasonably useful. Back over this way. Not really looking where I'm going here. I'm just going with the flow. Yeah, it's super nice to be able to fill in gaps like that. Makes life a lot easier. <laughs> I think we go for this just because I'd like to hold two trinkets right now. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, hello there. Don't really need to see anything else in this floor, do we? So we might as well just take our Joker card. I know this means we lose our Emperor, but I'm kind of okay with that. Okay. See how this goes against Mother. Hopefully, because she covers quite a wide base of this room, our meteorite should do quite a considerable amount of damage to her. I reckon having those red poops there would be pretty pretty nice as well. Go. We got ourselves this. And we didn't really... Okay, we, did, we are supposed to be going blue baby, so I will do that at least. Um, unfortunately, we have the worst uh, iteration of a... Uh, devil deal ever. I, I genuinely hate this one because I want to use my sanguine bond, but we're not allowed. Fun. Anyways, next floor. Yeah, really annoying when that happens. That room is, is evil. 
Okay, we lost our boot. We lost our speed ball. That's fine by me. And then this time we didn't even get Sanguine Bond for some reason. Maybe if we... I kind of want to just see if this works. Okay, no, it doesn't. This room just doesn't have the ability to have Sanguine Bond available, which is real sad. I was really hoping that I could... Um, that I could just blow it up and the spikes would be underneath. Apparently that's not the case for us here. I, I have to say, this, this red poop item is big fat trash. I don't know what it's called, let me go and find out, but it's horrible. I do not like it at all. It's just screwing me up constantly. Yeah, I, it's just, it's just, nah, I just don't want it anymore. I'm done with it. Right. Anyways, let's speed through this floor. Sadly, no more ultra, ultra speed. Soul of Apollyon. Hey, we gulped our trinkets. Because we don't have our uh, Emperor card anymore. But we can go reasonably fast here, considering the, uh, the setup we do have. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage here as well. It's definitely a shame. I'm just trying to find my way though. Look at that. Oh, the meteors as well. The meteors are so good. There is a sack room there. Don't think we really have an opportunity to use that too diligently, but we'll uh, we'll see. God damn this red poop thing. I, I don't know why I keep getting hurt by creep, but apparently creep is spawning a lot more often and I'm getting hurt by it a lot more. Oh, then we got these little shitheads. Go away. And don't come again another day. We need to be gone forever and never return. Okay, well that room was quick. We got some clickety clacks in here. Make sure the bloody stupid horse thing dies quickly and doesn't hit me like it just did. God damn it. It did kill it though. It did, however, kill it. Ooh. Uh, so, unfortunately, here we have a bit of an issue. Right, we have flakes of gold, but we really should be holding trinkets at the time of picking that up because it does make trinkets gold. Charge active item where it doesn't contain any rooms. Okay, and then there is another trinket back over this way, which I should go and check. We should also just check in here, see if there's any hearts. But unfortunately, it's not. Reduce the size of all enemies. Why would I ever want that? Let's just let's clear out a little bit more of this floor, shall we? See if we can get any more trinkets. I know it's unlikely. We got two this floor, so it's not it's not ridiculous. Also, we, we could end up healing up over the course of this floor as well, so that's good. It seems to be our sack that's dropping us... Our trash bag that's dropping us the vast majority of our trinkets. But yeah, because gold flakes makes every trinket that you hold gold, I feel like you kind of... I kind of owe it to myself to be holding at least two trinkets. But it looks like that's not going to be the case. But we will just get out of here. Right. Grab myself those golden flakes. That's not golden flakes. <laughs> That is not what I left in this room. I don't know what happened there, but I went and found trinkets for literally no reason. Yeah, that was uh, slightly upsetting. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what deemed it uh, a good idea to remove that from me, but there you go. Not like we needed it anyways, but still. Finding gold flakes is always fun because it's a mess around with golden trinkets. That's always entertaining for me. It's always a novel idea. But yeah, let's uh, let's push forward. Having a good time with this run so far. 
despite the, the how this episode started, I'm in a good mood. This 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 has cheered me up in a delightful little way. Just because now I'm actually having a run that's going well. It's just a shame this couldn't have been the run that I actually started the episode on. It's just I just it annoys me so much how I know the game's bullshit so well. I called my death a second before it happened because I knew if I was to die on that run, that would be the way that it happened because the bullshit boy spawned a bomb directly underneath me. Eel. Get that golden chewing pen. Fire some slowing shots here and there. You know I like it. Hey, getting HP is so nice. Ooh, getting even more HP is even nicer. Thank you. Toxic shock, you are doing your best. And it's very, very helpful. Okay. Get some uh, toxic bombs in there as well. Why not? No, we're good. Looked like a little bit of a hard fight, but we're fine. We'll check our devil deal once more. Again, no items. Yeah, we got a damage up. That's all I care about. Let's go. We got ourselves a damage up. Um... Did I manage to skip the game stealing items from me there? Or is it just because I didn't get any items that last floor? Or I didn't get enough items that last floor, should I say? I don't know. Maybe I... No, I, I think I just didn't get any items that last floor. I think that's why. I think we got Care to Conquest here for extra champions. That seems to be what's going on. Beautiful. Killing some fast nonetheless. We only need to actually save four items throughout this whole run. Even then, like, two of them weren't even that big of a deal. Sanguine Bond didn't really end up helping us all that much. And Car Battery's been fine. But we've not really gotten anything crazy out of it so far. I mean, I suppose just having spiders and flies to help us is never a bad thing. Ooh, this is an interesting room. But don't worry about it, because you did. The spiders in there. Oh, that's a big boy. I just love, 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 love the Kesa Conquest. Not only, it's not just increases the amount of champions. It means that enemies spawned by other enemies can now be champions, which is never normally a thing in the vanilla game. I think that should be something that's just added to hard mode by default. If you're playing in hard mode... Enemies can spawn other enemies. Uh, enemies that can spawn other enemies have the chance to also spawn them as champion variants. With the same chance as a normal champion spawn would have. There you go. Cut through him pretty easily. And let's see what we have going on with our four chests. Oh, we got some sort of noise. What the hell was that? Oh, Kessa de Care. Be quick. Right, some good stuff here. Proptosis. In fact, pretty much everything here is great. Obviously, Leo doesn't really matter. And the brooch doesn't really matter, but everything else is good. It's nice to get so many items in this last floor here. But yeah, obviously Proptosis here. If we get close to things, at least it's going to be a huge damage up for us. Just have to remember that we have it. Shouldn't be hard to remember, though, because our tears are going to be disappearing. Range. Seems to be going well so far. Yeah, just do that look. Barrel stuff the enemy. It will kill them quickly. Just make sure we don't do it too aggressively. Because if we do... I know it's kind of hard to barrel stuff non-aggressively. But you know what I mean. If we don't, we're going to end up hitting and uh, like walking into enemies and causing ourselves some problems. But at the same time, we don't want to lose too much damage. So I'm going to take the risk and just do it anyways. Yeah, like, look at that. Just destruction, demolition, all of the above. 
Oh, the, honestly, the Meteors have been an absolute star of this show. They have been doing so good. I don't know what Andromeda's been feeding these meteorites. Maybe somehow, like, something's buffing it, or is it just this good? Because <laughs> it's, it's extremely good. We're getting a lot of really big, beefy meteorites coming down, and they seem to be gravitating towards landing on enemies. Which, of course, is pretty awesome for us. I'm just trying to beeline through all these rooms here at this point. Seeing what's what. I really hope we can get like one item from our trash bag before the run, before this uh, runs over though. That'd just be entertaining. Boom and boom. We are losing health here and there, but I'm not super worried because there's a lot of red hearts on the floor. So like here we got hit, but we can just bail back into this room, grab this red heart, and we're back to where we just were. Magician here is something that I definitely want to take. Ooh, annoying room, but we've got the speed. And you've got the brimstone. But we've got the firepower. No chests, unfortunately, but that's what happens when you're on 0 0.5 luck. Skolex in a room like this is hell, but... We seem to be doing okay. Really thought the game crashed then. I was going to be really upset. One room off of the boss. Right, so we'll use Herming here. And we'll just get up close and personal here, won't we? There you go. Beautiful little victory. Not going to take the Void Portal. Little bit of a shame that we lost our streak, but nonetheless, a fun run. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.